Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to Metal Lens Reviews. I'm Lou, and if you're new here and like what you see, please like, comment, subscribe, and all that jazz. It helps me grow the channel, provide you guys with more entertainment. So what do we got today? We got a trailer reaction. Abigail. I believe it's fresh. I think it dropped maybe a couple days ago. Um, and I believe it's coming out in April at some point. It's a horror movie, so right up my alley. And the only way I discovered this was I have a app on my phone, Bloody Disgusting. And they're like the New York Times of um, oh, uh, anything horror or related to horror. And uh, they give you like, you know, what's up and coming, video games related to horror, anything, soundtracks, all that stuff. And um, it's very informative. And that's how I found out about this one. I don't know who's directing it. Uh, nothing. All I know is that was the cover, um, the, the title, and the synopsis. So it's basically a bunch of uh, criminals. They kidnapped uh, some wealthy uh, family, uh, their daughter, who's a ballerina. Uh, it turns out, no surprise there, that she's not a normal little girl. So, all right. Let me stop talking, and let's get on with the show here, right? Okay. You all came highly recommended. You know the rules. No real names, no backstories. I know that actor. Uh, that, he played Moth Gideon and a bunch of other... He played in other great movies too, obviously. And I recognize him from the shows and everything. Um, Giancarlo Eposito. <laughs> That's so cool. I didn't know. I, I should have looked up the IMD. Uh, IMDb for uh, doing this. Uh, oh God, I don't even know who's directing it. Oh God, so sloppy. <laughs> All right, um, let's continue on. I, it was just shocking. I had to pause it. And I was like, "Oh, look who it is." That's crazy. So this is what he's doing now. All right, interesting. No cell phones. So whose kid is she? A very wealthy man who's about to be fifty million dollars poorer. I'm here to make sure you're safe. What's your name? Mine's Abigail. You can call me Joey. Do you have any kids? I have a little boy. See you in 24 hours. Do you know what a pinky promise is? If you behave and do as we say, my pinky promise you, it'll all be over soon. Joey? Yeah. I'm sorry about what's going to happen to you. What the fuck? Shit, we got to get out of here. I think she knows something. Guys? Guys? We kidnapped a fucking vampire. A ballerina vampire. Okay, how do we kill a vampire? What are we talking about? Like an Anne Rice or a True Blood? You know, Twilight? Stake through the heart. Daylight is a big one. Real quick, I know it's just a trailer, but still. <laughs> oh man, see a lot of familiar tropes in this, but it's okay. I, I kind of like the setting. I like them... Because this, this is how I would write a movie, because obviously they could have just left, right? And not dealt with this, but it's a lock-in, it looks like. You know, there's a mechanism that's keeping them there. Um, you know, all the, all the shutters uh, pretty much shut in place. That's cool, and the the, the cast is very familiar. Um, I definitely I see a lot of familiar faces. Not all of them, but a couple um, from other movies and TV shows. That's interesting. Uh... And, uh, uh Universal's putting out. I, I trust Universal. Not all the time, but you know, Universal Studios brought us some really great films. Um, is she a man? I, she didn't really come off as a vampire, but uh, I don't know. Like I said, I don't know nothing about it. All right, let's finish this up. All right, let's go kill us a fucking vampire. Ready? Fly! 
Okay, so that was interesting. <laughs> I was like, okay, I, I, where are they going with this? So there's definitely, uh, there's going to be probably some, like, you know, funny moments, that's what it looks like. But, you know, I mean, when you get films like Army of Darkness and Evil Dead, you know, the, it's no surprise. It's, you know, directors mix, you know, horror with comedy or a little bit. So, I mean, yeah, you, you got to lighten it up. I mean, unless you do, like, a serious dark movie. But, I, you know, I get it. I totally get it. Um, yeah, I mean, I'll probably check it out, for sure. You know, I'm going to rush to the theaters. I mean, but I do like it going to the theaters. It kind of tells you, you know, a little about the uh, production value. It could have went straight on demand, so. Then again, I'm not sure. Um, it could be, uh, like, a hit or miss. I don't know. I'm sure it's going to theaters, right? Yeah, it said that, right? But, um, um I don't know. I don't know. Like, it's, it's enough familiar territory i get it you know they're going with the whole vampire thing and there's some yeah uh, i won't say new uh things going on in the film but stuff you know i'm comfortable with and maybe the director you know you know was kind of laying uh you know uh, their style on it so i don't know i don't know I gotta wait till the thing comes out. Check it out before I, you know, judge right away. But um, I, you know, I like. I thought it was cool. I mean, it's it's a different take on things, you know. But then again, I feel like it isn't. It isn't. You know, like yeah, this didn't really like kind of blow me out of the water. But you know, like I said, I'll I'll, I'll check it out. Um, because you know, m you know, on a serious standpoint, making a movie is not easy. Um when I used to do, like, short films, even that was, like, time-consuming, you know, and I had no budget, so this, you have a budget, and you just, at the end of the day, you just hope what you created, other people will like it, so, you know, and sometimes, you know, you play it safe, and you do a familiar movie, maybe you throw in a couple original things to keep people's attention, and that's what I hoped, um, you know, this one will be, you know, I like the setup, um, I like the house, I like it how it's like a little, you know, little girl ballerina that's, you know, eating people or <laughs> draining their blood. So, um, like I said, I see a few comedic moments and uh, I'm curious how it plays out. Because it's also like, okay, well, who's the family? Who's your dad? Right? You know? I, I hope it's not like Dracula or nothing. I really do. I hope it's like, you know, some vampire family or whatever that we don't know about or something I, I wish it really wasn't a vampire but you know i mean like i said it's it's familiar territory i see why they went in that direction but that's all i you know that's really all i could kind of uh go by with this trailer here um like i said it looks interesting enough and like i said if it comes out i'll probably check it out like i, said, I don't know if i'm gonna be running to the theater i might stream it or something but um and by streaming, uh, and you know, I mean, like, you know, video on demand or whatever, like Prime or whatever. Um, but yeah, yeah, I'm curious. I'm sure as time goes on, closer to the release date, they'll release maybe like a second trailer or a little more information on what's going on. Definitely going to check the uh, director, because um, I have no idea. All right, guys. Well, that was a trailer for Abigail. Uh, uh, I didn't catch the release date. I know it's April. Um, but yeah, there you have it. That's my thoughts. That's my reaction. I hope you guys like what you see, <laughs> you know, and, uh, stick around because, you know, I do stuff like this along with movie reviews and a whole lot of, you know, music video reactions. So there's a little something for everybody in this channel. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys very, very soon. Peace.